This morning on a special Thanksgiving edition of The Dish, we get dessert focused with The Little Pie Company and its founder, Arnold Wilkerson. The New York City shop has been serving up its handmade creation since 1985, when Wilkerson, with no professional baking or business experience, left a career in acting and found his calling. It didn't take long for The Little Pie Company to become a regular on Best Pie Lists, from Rachel Ray to Food and Wine, helping the shop gather nationwide recognition. And as we found out, no matter how much time passes, Arnold Wilkerson is still counting his blessings. And so I'm going to show you what I did for two and a half years out of my apartment. In a much smaller space. In a much small, in a, in, <laughs> in a space newer. about this size. Yeah. <laughs> for almost 40 years. Just spread those around. Arnold so Wilkerson nice. has been yeah. running the Little Pie Company. Just go like this. Oh yeah, okay, that's what I meant, like a yeah, dollop. Like and while his kitchen time is a bit limited now, oh, yeah. as its founder and first baker, he is the heart of it all. At least we can eat as much of this as we want and not be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the irresistible pastry he and his team have become known for, the soul. Arnold, this table smells so good. I normally say it looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it smells so good. Do you ever get used to this? Well, you never get used to it because it's like eating. You never get tired of eating. Which is a good thing when you consider the Little Pie Company menu, with a selection ranging from A for apple. We have an old-fashioned apple pie okay. here. We fill the pie with the golden delicious apples, made it a nice double crust pie. That's what I try to make my pie look like. To P for pumpkin. The spice <laughs> in this pumpkin pie. And plenty in between. But the one that started it all was this, a sour cream apple walnut. It's uh, thinly sliced Granny Smith apples. It's topped then with the brown sugar and uh, walnuts, and the crust is an all butter crust. Wilkerson started making them in his one bedroom New York City apartment in the early 1980s. This is like my dream come true. Okay, I have an entire enough. body okay. in front so of me. Oh wow, look at that. And this was breakfast, lunch, and dinner, because you know when you're starting out in your, in your business, you don't have any money. A writer at New York Magazine eventually got a taste and told readers, buy, buy this American pie. I don't have to tell you what the phone was doing. I had to borrow ovens from my friend's apartments who were to in the same, in, to make them out. So I put, a, put four timers in my apartment and know which apartment to run to to get uh, different pies out. I would say about halfway down the block, I noticed the aroma. The business well, eventually uh, helped Wilkerson move on from his makeshift apartment bakery opening the Little Pie Company a few yards away. Is it five minutes from here to there? I don't even think it's five minutes and that's, your building is right there. And it's right there, yes. There's the Little Pie Company upstairs and the Little Pie Company downstairs. <laughs> it's not the life he first envisioned when he moved to New York City to pursue an acting career in theater and film. But growing up in California, baking was always a part of family life. My mother would make fried pies. My mother, I think about it, liked to bake on Sundays. And the only problem was she didn't like anybody in the kitchen. She didn't know I was watching. So you watch and you learn. And once he made the pies of his youth a part of his present, he turned back to his mom for advice. You know what makes this pecan pie nice? I call my mother. Everything. And my mother <laughs> told me, put vinegar in that crust. You see how, how brown that crust yeah. is? Helps it to get mm. done and makes it light. Family isn't the only influence on the Little Pie Company's decadent desserts. These recipes, this is not just you developing, this is oh, everybody no. here. You know, one of the things that you learn in life is you don't do anything by yourself. You do things collectively, you do discussion, we learn from each other. A prime example, this spin on a Mississippi mud pie, combining the Southern classic with Wilkerson's international palate. Yeah, once you taste chocolate, you know, in either Belgium or in Switzerland, you don't want any other kind of right, chocolate. Right. What you're having right now are three different oh. textures of chocolate pie. There's a Belgian chocolate, which is chewy on top, then you're gonna get a creamy texture, and then you're gonna get a crunchy texture. Wow. Isn't that something? Oh my God. Now, if you were a chocoholic, wouldn't you be in Yes, heaven? it's like a brownie with like a frosting-ish. Yes. And oh my God. Reactions yes, like mine taking the place of the ovations Wilkerson once got on the stage, a trade he doesn't regret making. You always know when your heart is into something, when you're doing it because you like it and you know you're doing it when you love it. Two very different things. Right. I liked acting, but, but I wasn't in it. 
Baking hit the spot for him the way acting never did. You know, it's a little poignant, but if you look over there on the wall, there's a Time magazine. Oh, yeah. And the picture of what? The American flag in the pie. Mm, and a, in what pie? Yeah. Our pie. We made the cover of Time. <laughs> I say it's a little poignant because, you know, that was 9-11, uh, but somehow they allowed us to represent America. That's amazing. What was that moment like for you? Uh, the pie company has had a lot of neat moments, but when we got this, was really, it was very moving. Evolving a New York staple into an American one. Do you still feel like this is also a neighborhood bakery? Oh, very much so. Uh, you see we're waving to people all the time. <laughs> the bakers can't stand back there and work in those. We have these large picture windows. I love And them. constantly, you know, families, we're having children that are growing up seeing bakers at work. The Little Pie Company producing smiles even before that first bite. So while baking hasn't made Arnold Wilkerson a wealthy man, it certainly has given him a rich life. The fun is having something that you can be proud of and something that, you know, that as a black man, I can be an example to other young men, you know, who, who see that you can start out poor, not formally educated, and just dream and just believe in yourself and go forward that you can make something out of nothing, basically. Well, your smile and your laugh are infectious, so you seem pretty happy. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes you have to appreciate your blessings. You know what I mean? And uh, if you appreciate your blessings, you're not going to just always be asking for more. And Arnold dropped pies off for you guys, personally, because uh, he's around the corner yeah. from here. Um, you're going to have the sour cream apple walnut. You've got the Mississippi mud, the pecan, and the pumpkin. One other thing he's created there, it's a family. He's like Danny, his GM, started working as a teenager, as a neighborhood kid, and mm. has worked his way up. Dishwashers that work their way up to cooks that have been there for 30 years. Mm. And yeah, it's this, good, right? This is, this is Sour a, cream apple walnut? Yes, Hassani Pratt's e favorite. favorite. The pecan is like, it's, it's not too sweet, but amazing. I stuffed my face that day, as you saw. And he was laughing oh. because I didn't put enough whipped cream on my pumpkin pie. Mm. I was like, more, put oh, on more. Whipped cream. Yeah. Does so, he do a sweet potato pumpkin pie combo? I don't remember, but you can check him out on Gold Belly. He does nationwide shipping, and you'll find him there. The All right. Or Michelle. The Mississippi mud is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.